Hi, my name is Rochelle Crump. I'm Chief of African American Services for the Department of Children and Family Services. I'm also the president of the National Women Veterans United. I'm a consultant at the Ark of St. Sabina. I'm a VA bowler. I also am a board of director for the Inner Voice Homeless Services chairperson. I am also a board of director for the Coalition of Veterans Organizations and the Montfort Point Marine Association Recording Secretary. The Ark of St. Sabina is a youth center um, basically that provides general after school programs, tutoring, and uh, activities including sports programs for at risk youth and community children. I work in the community men's service program. I'm a consultant. I provide instruction and just basic monitoring, keeping the peace more or less for men's basketball on Wednesday night. I made a commitment to those young men that I have uh, bonded with that I would always have the gym open for them because that's an activity that they seem to like to do and it gives them a little peace too because it's a safe haven for them to go to where we don't have um, much trouble there and they're kind of like it's, it's a peace haven for them. I made that commitment that they would always have that place to come to. Um, I've been bowling since 1986, 87, and uh, started out when I was working with the department, U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and the medical center and the regional office had a bowling league, and I joined it. And since that time, uh, we travel um, and we compete against um, more than about 20 different VA stations across the nation. Um, I'm an avid bowler. I bowl two days a week. Um, I enjoy the sport. I think it's relaxing for me and my mind. It's like a mental therapy piece. Um, gets a lot of stress off of me too because I'm always going and doing things. So that's my time for me. I attend St. Sabina Church and I've been ushering since probably 1999, 98. One thing about ushering for me is I like order. I mean, I am disorganized in some things, but I'm very organized in a lot of things. And I like order. Um, I like, and, and it comes from, I guess, my little training stint that I had in the military. And, you know, just having, I guess, structure, formation, unity. I like that. I don't like that walking around and I like to do things a certain way. And, you know, there's always instructions. And I do the same thing at the ARC, too. I have uh, instructions there and everybody needs to follow those instructions. I like that control piece. Well, I wasn't in, in the military a long time, but I was in almost two years and um, I, right from high school into the military, I was a communications specialist, switchboard operator, I was a base operator. And I met a lot of people by telephone and really enjoyed um, that period that I spent in there. And if I could do things all over again in my life, that would be one of the things that I would definitely do again. And I would have probably made a career out of it. Once I came out of the military, I went to work for the Department of Veterans Affairs. I stayed there for 23 years. Um, I then went on to working with homeless veterans in the community. Then I was appointed um, as the director for the City of Chicago Veteran Affairs. And again, I moved on to the state as the deputy director, assistant director for the state of Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. And um, I've been involved and engaged in veteran activities and programs. And um, one of the founding members of the National Women Veterans United 
And it's very dear to my heart to be a part of all of those organizations and to have made great strides um, in the uh, military uh, as well as in the veteran uh, components. So again, on behalf of the National Women Veterans United, I salute all of you today. Thank you and God bless you. Oh. Oh.